What generation are you? Millennial. Ah, um, well, good question. Uh, born in 1976, so I'm probably Generation X. I was born in 83. Does that make me a millennial? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am right on the borderline of a baby boomer and the one after that. So Perfect. there's not too many people around that I see who are like me. <laughs> Today we have multiple generations in the workplace. And for us at ABB, it's very important that everyone feels welcomed across all generations. And that's also why we put a special emphasis on this topic by appointing Carolina Granat, CHRO at ABB, as executive sponsor for this topic. So Carolina, why is diversity and inclusion important to you? Well, diversity and inclusion have always been close to my heart before ABB and also now within ABB. I think it's so important that no matter who you are, what you represent, what you bring to the table, you should feel welcomed, you should feel listened to, and you should always have, you know, get the same opportunities to make a career within a company. And some people say that we have five generations in the workplace, some people say four. But what we know is that we have several generations. And there are also a lot of uh, biases, maybe, stereotypes around it. But what do you see as, as differences across the generations? And what do we need to consider in terms of, of inclusion of the generations? Now, I think, as, as you mentioned, we, we have several generations within ABB. From the new joiners, maybe freshly graduated from university, to the ones that have over 30 years tenure within ABB. And of course, naturally, they have different life experiences, different insights into topics, what is success looking like, how can future look like. And I think it's important for us to understand that we need to offer an environment where we capture all the great things with our new joiners, the, the young generation, as well as capturing the older generation's insights and experiences. And how do we do that? Do we have any channel where we can capture this? Do we have any forums of employee groups that we can also listen to and learn and that can guide us towards a fully inclusive company? Yeah, the, the real eye-opener to me was when I looked at the result of the engagement survey and saw the differences in answers among our employees, seeing that we, actually the, the, the younger generation are more positive in the responses than some of our older uh, employees are. And it was quite interesting, uh, one of the topics were inclusion. So I think somehow we are managing to do a better job with the younger generation we have in the company than with the old generation. And this is important feedback to us and it also highlights the necessity now to bring these generations and um, making us aware of differences and how we can capture and learn in both directions. Absolutely. And, and what are then the concrete actions we can take as a company to drive this forward? I think, of course, as with all aspects of diversity, there is a big responsibility for all the managers to always ensure that in meetings, in your teams, that everyone is being seen, listened to, and that you allow for different perspectives and understand that they all contribute to better solution for the company and for the team. Uh, but secondly, I think we also need to, to find structures and tools that you can apply. And I know there is a really good example now taking place in Sweden, uh, where, the, uh, where we have put in place a mutual mentorship program. So we're actually connecting uh, a young person just joined ABB with some of our senior professionals that have been around for a long time to actually share experiences and to kind of build those bridges and understanding uh, in, on various topics. Uh, so that is, I think, one example of how you concretely can actually take action on this topic. Very good. And we also have great voices in our countries through our employee resource groups. Encompass young professional, encompass senior professional. How do you utilize that, uh, that voice from our people to also guide us? I think that's, um, you know, I, I would encourage everyone uh, that if you have a passion for something to engage yourself in our Encompass groups. And there are also Encompass group existing now for uh, young professionals, senior professionals, where, the, I mean, the insights from these uh, groups are so critical for us to understand where do we have our strengths and where do we have areas of opportunities. I think that's a good way if you feel, you know, you want to engage yourself on this topic that's a good place to start.
Very good. And as I always say, inclusion means everyone and it takes all of us to succeed. What would be your call to action to all the colleagues across the ABB world to contribute to this agenda and to driving inclusion forward across generations? I think it's important that, I mean, starting with myself, no matter the person I have in front of me, uh, whatever they represent, to, to try to look beyond whatever biases you might have, perceptions, and really see the person, see the ideas, the, the experience that the person brings. And that will kind of break those boundaries of age. Uh, and I think the outcome would be really, you know, we will be even more innovative as a company. And I think it will also be much more fun if we can really deliver upon those differences and in experience and perspective. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carolina. I look very much forward to our joint journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you.